Jolene Thornton here, and welcome back to your local RPME TV news. Now, on today's show, we are going to be talking about habits of cats. We're going to have a sports section, an entertainment section, and we're going to have a word from our sponsor, and we're also going to have the weather with our weather woman, Janie Wilkes. Let's talk pussy. Pussy cats, that is. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and talk about unusual habits of cats. Everybody's always talking about dogs, dogs this, dogs that. But this is for the cat people. Now, the first one I've got here. Um, uh, first, if a cat is lying down with his belly exposed, um, don't rub it. An exposed tummy is their way of showing us trust. And if you touch it, you're betraying that trust. You probably realize that the last time you went in for a belly rub and it attacked your hand instead, well, instead, instead what you could do, give your cat a head rub or just talk sweetly to him. Hmm. Now, when a cat approaches you with its tail up, it is saying, hi, and you could say hi back by patting his head and his neck. Next, another cat move that has been decoded and explained is this. When a cat rubs up against you, it's not a sign of affection. It's a sign of ownership. That pussy owns you. <laughs> oh, your cat is spreading its scent. And whether you've been out all day or it's the first time you're meeting the cat, um, it's doing it so you'll smell like them. Hmm. Now, you could tell your cat is happy if it slowly blinks. <laughs> that means your cat feels safe. If you slowly blink back, it'll show the cat that you're content and relaxed too, and most importantly, not a threat. Hmm. Now lastly, the most uh, misinterpreted of the cat signals, purring. <laughs> a lot of us think that this means the cat is content but it can also be a sign of pain. So look for other uh, signs of the distress, like being withdrawn or if their personality changes. Uh, for example, if your cat is suddenly noisy and, and making a lot of sounds, um, you should really pay attention because it could mean that they're in pain. Mm. And those are some unusual facts about cats. Decoded. <laughs> Jolene Thornton here. Now, has this ever happened to you? You've been walking along, enjoying your day, when a hobo jumps out at you and bites you on the arm, leaving you high and dry. And we know that hobos are a disease-carrying vermin, much like rats, pigeons, and zombies. Their bites can spread a nasty infection, leading to numbness of the eyeballs, a bloated bladder, an itchy anus, and eventually loss of your press-on nails. But this can all be prevented with tampane. Tampaid has the unique absorbency power to suck out all infection within five minutes after a hobo bite. Ooh. Prevent hobo bite, use Tampaid. Oh, where'd that hobo go? I'm horny. And now for sports. So, sports. <laughs> um, 
on today's show, I'm going to be talking about badminton. Such a fun and relaxing way to spend your afternoon when it's nice and warm outside. As long as it's not windy. But I have an interesting fact. So, check those down. Ooh. Um, the little birdies that we have that you play with when you play badminton, we always call them birdies. Guess what the proper name for them is? Shuttlecocks! <laughs> it says right here, Shuttlecocks! I can't believe that! And you, and this one's great. I got it at Walmart. You get six Shuttlecocks. Because I'm kind of rough when I play. <laughs> oh, Shuttlecock, Shuttlecock, Shuttlecock! <laughs> and now, the weather with Janny Wilkes. <laughs> I'm Jenny Wilkes, and this is the weather. Um, it's it's really cold outside, and and it's gonna stay cold. Winter is here. I love you, Jolie. I wanna have your baby. That's the weather. Well, at least you didn't poop yourself or puke this time, Jenny. <laughs> Well, actually, I peed a little bit. <laughs> I peed a lot. But. Ooh. And now, entertainment news. First up, we got... Miley Cyrus, again. She was at an award show and accepted an award over in Europe and lit up a joint on stage. <laughs> oh, you know, I know she's not like um, somebody to look up to anymore. She ain't Hannah Montana. She is Miley Cyrus. And I usually don't disapprove of her actions because she's just trying to get attention. But come on, smoking a joint on stage? Ridiculous. Grow up, Miley. I love you, girl, but come on. Ugh, I've got to talk to your daddy about that. I have a way with him, Billy Ray. <laughs> you know. Next up, Alanis Morissette is bringing her album, Jagged Little Pill, that big, big, her first big album, it's to the stage. She's bringing all the songs into a musical. <laughs> you go, girl. I, I don't know if it's going to work, but she ought to know. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? <laughs> I could go on all day, y'all. All right, next. John Hamm, that actor that's on Mad Men, and I guess the producers have been trying to get him to wear underwear during his shots because he has tight, he always wears tight-fitting uh, pants, and I guess he's got a big package. Well, you could tell from the pictures, and he will not wear underwear, and I don't want him to wear underwear. So I'm saying to the producers of Mad Men, screw up! Let him show his junk. This girl needs some eye candy. I mean, come on. I show my tits all the time. Why can't he show his pecker? Hmm. And that's your entertainment news. Mm. Well, that's your local RPME TV news for today. This is Jolene Thornton saying thanks for joining me. And we'll see you next time. Bye.